Do you have a problem peeling hard-boiled eggs? Yeah, I do too. And I've got the solution just for you. Peeling hard-boiled eggs is such a hassle. It takes forever and makes such a mess. Now make hard-boiled eggs the fast and easy way. Introducing Egglets, the new silicone sensation that lets you... Now going through and, and searching a little bit uh, on, on Amazon for a lot of different products to go through and review, um, this one kind of caught my eye. It came out late, in, or I'm sorry, about mid to late uh, December last year. Um, it, let me just grab it, it's right here. It's called Egglets. Basically, you're able to have good hard-boiled fresh eggs, or hard <laughs> hard-boiled eggs um, basically the, the the biggest premise of this is you don't have to worry about cracking the shell after you've, you've boiled the egg I, I'm a huge fan of hard-boiled eggs I, I eat tons and tons of hard-boiled eggs they're great as a snack uh, I do it all the time this could eh, I, I, I really want this to work I really really want this to work um, yeah, kind of going through the packaging, I, I love the packaging on this. It, it looks like uh, a carton of eggs. That's kind of funny. But there's one thing that caught my eye on here. Their slogan, per se. Um, crack, boil, pop. Does that sound familiar anywhere? Yeah. I know it does. Um, that's kind of a weird. Let's go through and open this up real fast. Let's see what we got in here. As they're falling on the floor. So, alright. There is information on the inside of this one. Caution while using product near boiling water, product and contents will be hot. Wash with warm soapy water before use. See, these instructions, they, are they in every one of them? I think they really are in every one of them. They are in every one of the pack of the of the containers of these little caution pieces that say about the contents and the water being hot why 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 do we have to have this this is this is what cracks me up about some of these products um but with these it's almost like a silicone mold with a, a plastic cap that it's got like an old hole for, for a vent, I'm assuming. Um, I don't know. Um, this is pretty neat. I, I, I'm really starting to, to like this product here. Um, I had my I had my doubts a little bit. Um, as you can see, they're silicone. I had my doubts uh, for the moment on these. Um, these I don't know. I, I, I'm, my biggest problem is, is seeing how well these come out to see if they come out of the mold. Um, that is the real curious part uh, about these, and I'm, I'm very curious to see see what happens. And oh yeah, by the way, forgot to mention, it's in its proper packaging. Yeah, thanks Amazon, finally sending me the right product. So uh, let's go through and oh my, this one's already starting to come out. What is going on with this? This does not seem... Oh, it just comes apart. On the inside, it does say uh, dishwasher safe, but do not use in a microwave. I'm assuming the silicone will melt. Just my, just my assumption. Um, so kind of going through these, I'm going to go through. I have, I have a couple of things that we're, uh, we're going to make uh, two hard-boiled eggs. Obviously, since there's four, two hard-boiled eggs. And uh, it also says we can make omelets with these so we're also gonna make an omelet to see if this actually works with making an omelet um, that's very very uh, very curious on that one so all right I'm back I gone through and washed all of these here uh, to make sure you know that it says it's washed uh, so there's nothing inside uh, so one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through and I'm gonna do the hard-boiled egg um, don't really have anything to crack on. Uh, I'm just going to use the bottom of this. 
All right, so for the second ones. So I have a couple things for the omelet. Um, kind of going to the omelet, obviously, we have some, uh, some, some green peppers here. A little bit of onion. A little bit of onion in our, in our omelet here. Cheese. A little bit of cheese thrown inside there. And we wouldn't really be able to have breakfast in the at night without some bacon. Now, I kind of did fill this up a little too much, but I do have our egg here. Now I have all four of them. So now I have two omelets and two regular hard boiled eggs. Kind of testing this out, see what happens. Um, I'm very curious to see if this really works. This is my, uh, I'm going to be super excited uh, if this really works. And to be honest with you, I could buy more if, if not. So uh, let's go boil these and see what happens. All right, I'm back. And uh, so we kind of got through the, the boiling here. Um, there is one thing that it's always prevalent on this show, and that is uh, there are part of the instructions that I either forget to read, not don't read, or just don't see them all together. It clearly states cooking spray, extra virgin olive oil, or coconut oil. And then on the next page it says to make sure that you properly have oiled the containers themselves, the, the, the egglets themselves. Um, yeah. As you guys already seen, I didn't do that. So we're going to try to really go through and see if these really will work without having that all uh, on there. So we'll go through the traditional first. We're going to do the hard boiled egg. Uh, these here are the uh, omelets themselves. I'll move this off the plate. Now there was some uh, extra egg floating around in the in the water itself. Um, I'm thinking it's because of one of these here, which is this one. Uh, part of it was not um, was not sealed all the way. Again, if it was oiled, it probably would be a little bit better. Um, I did not grab a fork, so I'm gonna get on that fork. So now I can go through and uh, get this. Uh, slice this open. So the consistency itself, um, it, to be honest with you, is kind of a, a, a perfect hard-boiled egg, I don't know if you can't see there. Um, it is a little hot, so I am going to definitely let that cool for a second. You can obviously see the steam roll out there. It is the perfect consistency. Um, this is very good. Like again, like I said, I'm a huge hard-boiled egg person. Um, spot on. Definitely spot on. To be honest with you, I'm going to save this. I'm going to put that in the fridge. Maybe eat that tomorrow or not at that point. That's because kind of what these are made for. So on to the omelet itself. Now, the omelet kind of feels a little... A little runny. Now it just popped up. So now this one I don't really think it I mean it would help to get it out which that one came out super easy probably with all the the other added stuff on top. Um, milk, um, the, the, the everything else at that point. So kind of what I was assuming stuff was gonna run to one side it wasn't going to be all throughout the omelet itself, um, especially when I when I cut into it here, uh, everything's it smells like an omelet. Omelet. Oh, I should put some sausage in here. Not think about it. Yeah, why well, not? I'll put sausage. Both of these all together with the hard boiled egg, uh, you got a very good consistency. Um, it's got a very uh, the the inside's not all the way. It's not cooked too much. It's not cooked to less, um, which is really nice. Now, one of the things I'm actually gonna put up on the screen is talking a little bit about the 
thing that they have in the back. So in the back it has some instructions uh, to, about the hard-boiled eggs themselves and how to go through and, and get the perfect hard-boiled egg to really your choosing. So the hard-boiled egg itself, you have to put it in for, I think it's a 19 minutes. So I'll put it in for 19 minutes in the, hard, in the, in the boiling water. Um, the omelet was a little bit less with, um, it's a, with cheese and, um, excuse me, with cheese and the uh, um, uh, vegetables, it was around 16 minutes. Um, with raw meat, it said about 19 minutes. So about the same as the regular hard boiled egg itself, but with this one, it took a little bit, a little bit less time. So it was really cool to see. Um, this was really awesome. I'm super excited. I am definitely gonna go through and uh, eat the rest of this omelet. This omelet was severely the best out of both of them. I, I can't stop. All in all, this is a great product. With this being my third product now for review, I have to say this is one that I would totally recommend. This is the first product that does what it states that it can do. I do have to mention that. You are able to make hard boiled eggs, but you can make wonderful omelets as well. And the consistency is perfect all the way through. One thing that I would recommend is to oil or butter the container for it to easily come out. You are able to take these anywhere and they are great as a snack for the office. Again, thank you for watching. If you'd like to buy this product, the link is down below. Make sure you go through and you click that subscribe button to keep in the loop for the next video. Also, if you have any comments, make sure you leave them down there as well. Take care.